Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I wanted to do a video that I've been trying to do for a couple of months now, but you know, life happens and I've been super busy and on my days off, you know, like I just like to like watch Netflix all day and not do anything. So sorry. Um, but I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, so today I was like, come on, like, let's do it. Um, so, for today's video, I wanted to show you guys my, um, everyday, super quick, super fast, um, makeup routine. Um, this is a no foundation makeup routine, so something very, um, you know, natural, very quick, very, like, everyday-ish. Definitely not, like, a full glam. Um, this is how I like to do my makeup pretty much for work every day now. My skin is much better, thank God. I was like, you know what? I don't want to spend an hour doing my makeup for work. So this is pretty much my super quick, fast, every, sorry, everyday makeup routine. And I wanted to show you guys how I achieve it. So, if you're interested, let's get started first thing i like to start off with is going to be this baby right here this is by wander beauty and it's the glow ahead illuminating face oil so i like to use this pretty much to like prime and moisturize my face before i put anything on so you know skin or whatever so i just take a little bit of oh yeah that's enough and i pretty much just rub this all over my face just to give us a little bit of moisture and i like that a lot because it's very lightweight um so it's really watery as you can see but it leaves you a really nice um like sparkly glowy tint so it definitely makes your skin look really dewy this pretty much does it for me so Okay, so first thing that I like to start off with is going to be this baby right here. I always get a lot of compliments um, on like my skin and um, how my makeup looks really good and like what foundation I have on and all that. Um, and I actually don't have any foundation on, so it makes me feel pretty good. Um, this is what I use. So this is going to be the Maybelline New York um, Dream BB Pure cream so this is pretty much a bb cream you know like a tinted moisturizer so it's an eight in one beauty balm skin clearing perfecter that's what it's called so very lightweight very sheer it definitely does not give like a whole bunch of coverage but the thing that i like is that it does give you a nice little tint to your face so we're not out here looking like this like a ghost so I like to start off by um, just applying a little tiny bit of this and I go ahead and put it on with this little brush right here. I just feel like it just, you don't even need to blend to be honest. So this is a pretty big fluffy brush. So I just kind of feel like it takes over my whole face and it makes the job like super quicker. So that's what I like to start off. And I literally just take like the smallest amount. So like that. And I pretty much just go all over my face. a little bit more and I just pretty much the other side of my face so this is how much I use you know it just gives you like a little tint to your face which is what I like it definitely doesn't like cover all you know and every imperfection as you can see like you can still see all of my freckles and all that which is what I like so very lightweight So next thing that I like to do is I do like to add a little bit of concealer. Um, even though I'm not doing a full face of makeup, mama got bags. So I always like to do at least a little tiny bit of concealer. Uh, for my concealer, I like to use the Born This Way Too Faced one. Um, it's the multi-use sculpting concealer. I love this one. I think it's really nice. Um, it's pretty high pigmented like if you want really good coverage like this would do it for you but at the same time like i like that because with a little tiny dab like you're good so that's literally what i like to do just a little tiny dab so i literally just take like this much and then i just like to blend it out with a little sponge really quickly And 
and honestly like I really like to make sure that I just keep the concealer in this area right here which is the only thing that I'm really trying to cover up I don't like to drag it down or bring it down or anything because I'm not trying to go for like a full face of makeup but I do want to make sure I hide my bags a little bit so just make sure I keep it in this area that's it making sure we don't cover any of our beautiful freckles or anything like that just our ugly bags that's it okay so next i do like to set that with a little bit of powder so the one that i've been using for like the longest time that i love 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 um it's this one right here this is from Believe Beauty, so I actually got it at Dollar General. Um, they have a new brand called Believe Beauty, and I'm actually going to make a video about their products um, coming up. So this powder right here is pretty much a translucent powder. The thing that I like, though, is that it has a little tiny tint to it, so it's like a light medium tint. So I like it because it will leave me like a nice skin tone, um, like look down here if that makes sense i don't like to do translucent powder because then this tends to look too white and that's not what i'm going for i want it to look like i don't have concealer on and it's just my skin tone so that's why i like to use this one right here because it has a little tint to it so i would definitely check it out it's like four dollars and it's really really good and i like to just set that with this little fluffy brush right here I have that all set what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of blush just to give my skin a little bit of a tint to it you know a little natural blush so for that I like to use this little uh, blush stick right here I've actually had this for a while I don't know if um I tried looking for it at the store last time and I couldn't find it anymore so I don't know if they still make it but honestly like any little blush stick that you have I think will look like pretty good just a really natural tint um this is from Maybelline and it's the Master Glaze by Face Studio blush stick this is in the shade warm nude so it's just a little stick like this and I like it because it gives you a natural blush but it also leaves a little bit of like a highlighter so you don't really have to do too much I like to just put this over my cheeks like this I just go back and blend it out with this to do a little bit on my nose just a tiny bit so I literally just blend it out just like that fluffy brush it just makes it easier for me after that I like to take a little bit more of my blush um, and I like to add um, this one right here, I actually got this on my BoxyCharm. I think it's really, really nice. It leaves you such a nice, pretty, blushed look. This is from Ciaddy or Ciaddy London. I don't know how to say it. I actually had never tried this brand until I got it on my BoxyCharm. And I've been loving it ever since. And this is pretty much a um, marbled light, like, baked powder. Um, and this is in the shade take a big fluffy brush as well and this is from Ulta Beauty it's just a fluffy cheek brush and I like to just go in there tiniest amount and just place it over my cheeks like this and a little on my nose after that I do like to warm up my face a little tiny bit more. So I like to just go in with my Wet n Wild contouring palette right here. And I like to take my, um, what is this? Lamar complexion brush. And it's just a big fluffy, um, like bronzing brush. I like literally like to take like the smallest amount of this uh, bronzing powder. And I just like to place it on my cheeks, just like this. and some on my big ass forehead as well after we have our face pretty much done um the last thing that i like to do is i like to go in with a little bit of highlighter just to kind of you know make our skin look a little bit more glowy and popping 
So I like to go in with my LA Colors Show It Off palette. If you watched any of my other videos, this palette is super good. It has blush and it has two highlighters as well. Girl, I got it at the dollar store. So I got this at Dollar General for like $4. And then I just like to do it with a big fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics and it's in the brush number 140. It's just an angled highlighter brush. So I like to take this shade right here. This is the one that I always use. And just add some highlighter. Ooh. Ooh. Girl. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, honey. Mmm. -hmm. And on my nose. I've been getting like so many freckles now. Like, it's insane. Back then, when I used to have to wear, like, foundation 24-7, you know, my skin, my face would, like, never actually catch the sun. It was always, like, underneath foundation. So whenever I did have, like, no makeup on, I looked like the ghost of, like, Christmas's past. And it was horrible. So it was horrible. And now that I actually go out like this pretty much with just, you know, like, no foundation on. My skin is actually like out in the sun and stuff now. It's definitely way more tan, which I like because I don't look like a ghost anymore. But I've been getting more freckles. Like, this is all covered here. But you know what? I'm embracing them because people draw on freckles and I'm getting them for free. So after that, we're pretty much done with the face. What I like to do is... I normally really don't do my eyebrows uh, during the week at, for work because, you know, it's slow. Like, I don't really do my eyebrows. What I like to do is um, something that I actually had never done before. I just started doing it recently. And it's putting soap on my brows. Let me show you. So I like to go for a really natural brow as well. So like I was telling you guys, I've been putting soap on my brows. It actually makes such a difference. Like if I especially don't want to go in and do like my full brow, um, I just pretty much do this just to make my eyebrows look thicker and like bam. So I literally just take a soap bar, rub my little spoolie on, and go to town. And it just makes your eyebrow hairs like look so much thicker and like fluffier, if that makes sense. And I just think it looks really good. Like I love doing it now. After that, I like to just wipe off anything, make sure I have like no soap remains in there. I like to take a little bit of a tinted brow mascara. This is from Clean Color. Um, I get this at a store called Wax. Um, it's like $2, so I love it. I've been using this baby for a long time, but any tinted brow mascara honestly works. I like this because you're really not really doing your eyebrows, so it's still your natural brow. It just gives it a little bit of a tint, so it kind of fills in, you know, the little... Mm, ugly areas if that makes sense so I just take this and just kind of go over and I like to literally just brush up so we get like this really natural fluffy brushed eyebrow effect thing that I like to do for um, lashes is I like to take two mascaras because I feel like I can never get the job done with just one so I always go for two mascaras. Um, the two that I like to use is going to be the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And I like to use this one first to kind of brush out my eyelashes and make sure they're not like, you know, stuck together. And then after that, I like to go in with this one right here. And this is from Pretty Vulgar and it is in the shade called Black Swan. So I like to use these two together. Um, I used to have really long lashes like a couple years back. But I had a horrible case of really bad um, eyelash extensions and it ripped my lashes out and burned them. 
really nasty. So, um, my eyelashes never really grew back to how they used to be. So, it takes me a little bit to get a nice mascara look. And I know I make like the dumbest faces when I do my mascara. It's like embarrassing. What? Is it video? Ocean oil tray. Keep the ocean oil back. After I go in with that one, I like to go in with the pretty vulgar one and just kind of make sure I make them look a little longer because they need all the help they can get. And I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but I like to do my mascara like looking sideways, if that makes sense. I just feel like it coats them better and I can get like a better angle if that kind of makes sense. Maybe I'm weird. But... I pretty much, I like can't do it when I'm like recording my video, so I'll just do it. Last but not least, we're gonna go in with the lips. So I've been using this gloss for like ever now since I discovered it. This is literally my favorite natural glossy, like just your natural lips have the cutest red pink tint to them gloss you have ever seen. And this is from Victoria's Secret. Wait, they have a line of glosses that are actually really, really good. You guys should try them out. I have a lot of them and I like a lot of them. But this is by far my favorite one. And this is called Cherry Bomb. And it's a flavored lip gloss. But you guys, it is like amazing i like to put this one on because you know during the week like i don't want to do a bold lip so i just like to do this one and it's bomb like the bomb so i like to just go in with this one mm -hmm. isn't that just like so cute and it does very much taste like cherries. Hey guys, this is pretty much my everyday, during the week, no foundation, quick, 10, 15 minutes tops um, makeup routine. So I'll show you guys how natural and glowy it looks in the sunlight so you guys can see. So that pretty much does it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you try out some of these products and you know, go for that quick, fast, glowy, bomb, sun-kissed, quick, easy skin look that I just showed you guys. And if you have any suggestions on any videos or anything that you would want to see on my channel, go ahead and drop it down below. And I always forget to say this in all of my videos, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.